So today we'll take a look at how you can add a cover page and a table of contents to your Word document. So what we're doing is we'll start off with a fresh, clean Word document. If you're working on an assignment or something for like university or something, I recommend that you, obviously once you've wrote your assignment, that you start a new document and then copy and paste the information. And that's from my personal experience, it makes it easier when it comes to creating the table of contents. So what we're going to do is go to insert, I'm going to insert a cover page. Just pick one that you like, I'm just going to choose this one here. So once you've selected your cover page, you'll have something like this. You can edit all these little text boxes and delete which ones you don't like and so on to your own liking but now we've got that first page then we're going to want to create a page here and what we're going to do is we're going to go to references and we're going to click table of contents we're going to click table of contents here and once again you can pick your style to your liking so what we're going to do for table of contents we're just going to select the classic version as you can see here it says we haven't like got anything to like put in a table yet and that's how we're going to show you how to do that next so we're just going to insert a blank page because this way we're going to start so how the table of contents works is it works off this heading system here so heading one will be like your title for the thing maybe like chapter one and then your like heading two will be like your points so if we put in um the first page and then if we put our like first point in we'll do we'll go so when you put your like headings in you want to click heading two here in this little section so we're going to put 1.1 .1 just for our first bit first we'll just call this first point just to show you how you can do it we're just going to insert some more and ipsum in that's just text filler and we'll put second point insert some more text just click enter sometimes it'll go like wanting to like do different points in a way as you can see here let me insert that you see here our 1.2 second point hasn't actually become a heading so we're just going to click heading two and make that a heading so as you see there we've got those we'll insert another blank page just to show you how the layout looks on the thing to give you a better idea so once again we're going to go home heading one second page and we'll do 2.1 second page one insert some text and then we're going to go to heading two again 2.2 second second let's we'll call this one or second two i suppose and then we'll insert some more Lauren ipsum and once we've done that we're going to go over to our references table over here and you're going to see next to table of contents is a thing called update table and obviously once you put more headings in it'll update so just click update table update entire table we go okay and we go up here you can now see we have our section so as you can see we now have our table of contents with our like our page one heading here being first page our sub headings being here yeah so uh second heading styles here and you can see down the side it lists out the pages which is very good and that's basically how you use a table of contents and have it all updating on your word document so once again to update it just click update table and that's that thanks for watching guys please like comment subscribe and i hope this helps a lot see you guys